good afternoon. Native tears to you. Um, another hot one today. Decided to come out and sit out here and enjoy some shade. I've been outside, um, out front working in the sun most of the day. Uh, trying to clear my mind. I'm just so sick and tired. Every time I turn on the TV, Orlando this, Orlando that, LGBTQ, TTQQ, whatever this. What about San Bernardino victims? What makes Orlando's lives any more important than the 2,000 plus people of all races, all religions, all preferences? that died when the trade tower came down or all the first responders that died trying to rescue people when that act happened. What makes one life more important than another life? That's what I want to know. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the agendas being pushed, force-fed, shoved down our throats. You libtards, if you're not happy, our borders are open, freaking leave and go someplace you will be happy. But quit. Quit trying to force yourself and your ways onto us, onto America. I believe in equal rights. And that's just it. Equal rights, not more rights for one, less rights for the other. Equal rights. Because you don't want to own a firearm, because you don't want to be able, you don't, you don't hunt, or you don't want to be able to protect your family, that's fine, but don't push your views and opinions on other people. Quit ripping our Constitution apart. Quit hanging on every single word. Let's get back to equal rights equal opportunity for every individual. This country is so screwed up. And we have a whole whole hill full of psychos. I don't know what, what to call them. We have a whole hill of people that are supposed to be representing us that don't. They get up there, they line their pockets, and they act on behalf of special interest groups. You know, here, here, here's my fix, and here's my solution. Any and all elected official and those up on Capitol Hill, from our state government all the way up to Washington, guess what? You have a term limit. Guess what? You got a pay cap. And guess what? Your retirement is Medicare and Social Security. If you're able to save money on what you're making and your budget well enough, you can get a 401k or a CD or a retirement or annuities account, whatever, for your future when you get old or you're disabled. Quit taking away from the American people that paid in. Quit taking our rights away and quit coming here. People that come here used to, my grandfathers, you know, think back when I was a kid and how it was proud to be American, made in America, the pride that we had and the world feared and respected us. Everybody wanted to be an American. Everybody wanted to come to America and get their citizenship and be an American. Not anymore. People come here. And then they complain that they're offended by our, our religion, by the way we dress. They're offended by our laws. They're offended by our flags. They're offended by our beliefs. 
will go home. And those of you that are here and you're screaming for more rights or discrimination or right to use this bathroom or dress the way you want, go where you'll be happy. Nothing keeps you here. Go where you're going to be freaking happy. Quit bitching. Yeah, no, no one life is any more important than another life. The taking of a life is still the taking of a life and an act of hatred. So those lives in San Bernardino, you know, my sister's under her desk, afraid and locked in her office. She feared. She was afraid. The people that were killed in San Bernardino tell their families that their lives are not, not as important as those that were in Orlando and explain to them why they aren't as important. Total bullshit. This country so screwed up. And, and you know, while you guys are pushing your freaking more rights agendas, they fail to mention Chicago. You know, that's old dumbass's hometown is Chicago. And that's where Hillary is from, is Chicago. Their hometown has the toughest gun laws around. And they're killing people in the streets. Is it with legal guns? I think not. It's criminals. People that hate. And yet, us law-abiding people, we would turn, if we were told we'd turn our guns in, law-abiding people follow the laws. Criminals don't. You think those criminals are going to line up to turn in their illegal stolen weapons? No. No. You know, our forefathers would be turning over in their graves. My grandparents, my father would be turning in his grave. It's not about equal rights anymore. It's about more rights. It's about oppressing people. It's about taking the rights away, silencing them if they disagree. This is America. We have the right to disagree. We have the right to believe and live the way we choose to live. We have the right to protect ourselves, protect our families. Well, I'm off here. There's a whole lot more I want to say in, in my previous take. It was too long and I deleted that one. And I'm just pissed off. I'm sad for where our country's headed. Somebody needs to say it because nobody's saying it. The liberals are killing us. The liberals are taking away our freedom. The liberals are taking away our rights. It's granted to every citizen in the United States. So if you don't like it, get out. <laughs>